you ready? Wait. Okay, now tell us what's going on. So, uh, at approximately 1.15 p.m., uh, Chico Police Dispatch uh, began receiving multiple 911 calls of uh, what we were told was an active shooter situation um, at a business here on Cohasset, um, just east of the Esplanade. Um, officers, as we responded to the scene, uh, we had uh, reports of suspects running in the area, uh, gunfire occurring uh, in a parking lot. Um, as officers arrived uh, at the scene, uh, we found multiple uh, shell casings appeared that we had a, a shooting that occurred uh, in a parking lot and out on the street of Cohasset. Um, witnesses had reported several suspects running northbound uh, towards the Esplanade. As officers uh, began checking that area, we found a vehicle uh, leaving a local motel with two suspects inside fitting the description. Uh, that vehicle failed to yield and a uh, vehicle pursuit ensued. Uh, that pursuit ended up going down a residential one-way street. Um, one of our lieutenants that was in fear that that vehicle was going to um, was going too fast at the end of the cul-de-sac and was going to uh, possibly uh, crash into a home, um, used his vehicle to stop uh, that vehicle as well. Um, there was a short foot pursuit, but both suspects in that vehicle uh, are in custody. Uh, we have several other subjects detained uh, north of this location near a... Uh, the apartment complex. Uh, we're talking to witnesses and uh, they can tell us exactly uh, what occurred here. Specifically north of here, what street? North on the Esplanade. Uh, it's a, on the on Esplanade, yeah. And where did that, uh, that, where did that chase lead to? It led uh, towards the uh, Safari Motel where we have numerous officers checking the area for possible victims at this point. Was the cop car hit? Uh, the vehicle that was involved in the vehicle pursuit, uh, again, uh, that we did, uh, one of our vehicles did sustain damage because of that. Uh, however, there were no injuries associated with uh, that collision. How many people are you looking for? Again, we're still talking with multiple witnesses. We had multiple reports of uh, multiple shots fired. So uh, it's still early in the investigation, so we're still trying to sort out really exactly what occurred here today. Did you mention a few found victims? At this point, we have not found a victim of the shooting. Uh, we had received uh, reports that there uh, was a Hispanic male seen running from the area who uh, witnesses believed had a gunshot wound to the uh, abdomen, but at this point, that's unconfirmed. So you don't know that there's anybody who actually got shot? We don't know that at this time. Um, all right, so for soundbite purposes, how concerning is something like this right in the middle of the day, right in the middle of the time? Oh, it's very concerning for us. I mean, anytime, uh, you know, we receive multiple 911s of uh, shots being fired in the city in the middle of the day is a very uh, concerning situation for the police department. Do you know how many guys you have out here? What kind of response? Um, luckily, currently uh, today, uh, outside of our normal uh, patrol, uh, we have our entire uh, detective bureau on scene conducting the investigation. We have our target team uh, that was downtown that has been deployed up here to help. Uh, the Butte County Sheriff's Office uh, was part of the initial part of this investigation, helping us search for suspects um, as long as well as CHP. So we've, we've had uh, 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 quite a few law enforcement agencies helping us out with this. Is there any reason to believe this is gang related at all? It's just too early to say uh, at this point. Uh, do you know what type of weapon was used? Uh, we are finding casings at the scene that would appear to show at least one to two handguns were involved, but again, we're still checking the scene as well. So I see the markers there and then down the street on Cohasset. Where else did you find shell casings? That's, uh, that's the only location right now, but like I said, we have several scenes uh, that we have locked down and we're conducting crime scene investigations at uh, several locations. And this guy that you brought into custody over here, the, I don't, do you know anything about this gentleman over on 11th and Esplanade? I, I don't know. Like I said, we've detained several people that yeah. uh, that were uh, either involved or, or fit the description of uh, witness uh, statements. Okay. You said three locations, correct? Right. So here, we're Well, so we're here. Uh, we had received some information about the Safari Motel. We had that locked down. And then, of course, the actual scene uh, at the conclusion of the vehicle pursuit. Um, on North Esplanade. And what? What's the cross street? Uh, Mal I can't remember the name of the street. Uh, is it with Mallory? I think it's Mallory. Okay. It's just north of um, East Lapton.
you guys are here. Got it. Okay. And then you guys know where the body hotel is? Because I know the one that I'm trying to figure out. It's just, it's just north up here near um, Mission Ranch. that. 